So today I've got a vintage story called Fabulous Animal Facts That Hardly Anyone Knows, written by Rita Golden Gellman, and she's written stories for us before. These have some amazing facts in here I know you're going to love. I borrowed it from a library because I didn't have a copy anymore, but if you're ready, a newborn baby whale is 25 foot long. It would just about fit in a bus. When a snake or a lizard or a bird is inside its egg, it grows an egg tooth. And when the baby is ready to come out, it uses its egg tooth to crack the shell. Once the baby's out, it doesn't need the egg tooth anymore. The tooth falls off. Two days before a baby chick hatches, you can sometimes hear it peep right through the shell. Pheasant eggs talk to each other. One unborn baby peeps to another and the other peeps back. Whale eggs do this too. Now the armadillo always has four babies. Sometimes she has four boy babies. Sometimes she has four girl babies. But she never has boys and girls at the same time. Every spring, the female codfish lays about five million eggs. One female housefly lays more than a hundred eggs at a time. The eggs hatch in less than two days and the babies grow quickly. In only two weeks, the 50 or more female babies can lay their own eggs. At the end of four months, there could be more than 3,906,200,000, oh my goodness sakes, that's three quadrillion, 906 trillion, 250 billion flies and one female house flies family. Luckily for us, many of the baby flies are eaten by other animals before they can even lay their eggs. Crayfish babies ride on their mother's stomachs. Beavers sometimes carry their babies in their arms. Scorpions and wolf spiders carry their babies on their backs. A polar bear mother takes her baby for swimming rides. Baby bats go for flying rides. Now a hummingbird can flap its wings 80 times in one second. The hummingbird is like a helicopter. It can fly up, it can fly down, it can fly forward and backward, and it can even stay in one place. The hummingbird is lucky it can do all those things in the air. It can barely walk. The albatross is like a kite. It can ride the sea winds all day without flapping its wings. Now monkeys hang by their tails. Sloths walk upside down. They even eat upside down. One kind of skunk stands on its hands when it is afraid and it can stay up for more than six seconds. Pretty cool. Now the sea otter swims on its back and sometimes it balances a rock on its stomach. If it feels like having a snack, it bangs a shellfish on the rock until the shellfish breaks open and the other otter can eat while it floats. Sometimes the sea otter wants to rest on its back, but it doesn't want to float away. So it makes an anchor. It wraps itself around in seaweed and that's attached to the bottom. And then the other otter can rest and stay in the same place. Bee babies eat 23 meals a day. Hummingbirds eat more than 60 meals a day. An elephant eats more in one week than many people eat in one year. Snakes can open their jaws to eat giant meals. The python snakes is 30 foot long. It can swallow a small deer. The python that swallows the small deer does not have to eat again for a whole year. The gray whale has brush-like strainers instead of teeth. It opens its mouth and it gulps a lot of water and then it closes its mouth and squirts the water through the strainers. When the water's gone, the whale has a mouthful of dinner. Flamingos have strainers too. They gulp a mouthful of muddy water and squirt it through the strainers. Tiny plants and animals get caught in the strainers and then the flamingo eats its dinner. Flamingos eat a lot of brine shrimp. The shrimp have pink coloring in them, and the more shrimp a flamingo eats, the pinker it gets. One kind of finch eats with a toothpick. Its favorite food lives in holes in a tree, but its beak isn't long enough to get into the hole. So the finch picks a cactus needle two inches long. It sticks the needle into the hole, and it spears the food and pulls out dinner. 
Some vultures eat ostrich eggs, but ostrich eggs have very hard shells. The vultures cannot break the shells with their beaks, so the vultures throw stones at the eggs. They miss about half the time, but they keep trying until the eggs crack. Honey ants eat a sweet liquid called honeydew. They take it home and feed it to special ants in the nest. The special ants are living storage tanks and they store up so much honeydew that they can hardly move. They just hang from the ceiling by tiny claws. A hungry ant can put its mouth next to the mouth of a storage ant and collect a drop of honeydew for dinner. A camel is also a living storage tank. Its hump is a big lump of fat. If the camel has no food, it uses the fat in its hump for energy. Sometimes the camel uses so much fat that the hump slips off its back and onto the side. When the camel eats again, the hump returns. Now lanternfish live near the bottom of the ocean. It's very dark down there. Lanternfish carry their own lights and the lights look like tiny pearls. They're called photospheres. A lanternfish can flash its photospheres on and off and a lanternfish gives off enough light to light up a dark room. The anglerfish fishes for dinner. It has a rod, a line, a float, and a lighted bait. The bait can flash yellow, green, and orange. The lights are really tiny bacteria that are inside the fish. The lighted bait attracts the curious fish, who soon become dinner for the angler. Camels can even spit farther. Watch out for the camels in the zoo. They can spit more than 15 feet. The black-necked cobra spits at its enemy's eyes, and the spit stings, and the enemy runs away. The cobra can hit an enemy that's eight foot away. Now the bombing beetle has a special opening in its body that can shoot liquid. The beetle can squirt 29 times in just four minutes. The archer fish can spit at an insect that's three foot away. When the insect is hit, it falls into the water and it becomes dinner for the fish. A weasel is brown in the summer and so is the arctic fox. In winter, they both grow new white coats to match the season. An octopus can change its color in less than a second. As it walks along the bottom, it can turn from white to yellow to red to brown. It can even make stripes and polka dots. That would be so cool. Now, if a lizard is caught by the tail, the tail may snap off. The broken tail wiggles and squiggles while the lizard escapes. When a lizard loses its tail, it grows a new one. The tail of a field mouse sometimes gets broken off too, but it won't grow back. Every year in December or January, a deer's antlers fall off. A few months later, new antlers grow, and the new antlers are always bigger than the old ones. Antelopes, sheep, and rhinoceroses don't have antlers. They have horns. If a horn breaks off, it doesn't grow back. Elephant tusks are not antlers or horns. They are teeth. Some elephant tusks are eight foot long. Many elephants have a favorite tusk. They are right tusked or left tusked just as people are right-handed or left-handed. Full-grown birds change all their feathers every year. Most do it gradually a few feathers at a time. Duck, geese, and swans shed their flight feathers all at once. When their flight feathers are off, these birds can't fly. They have to hide from their enemies. And every six months, a snake crawls out of its skin. The snake crawls over rocks and bushes and grass until the loose skin peels off. And the skin comes off inside out, comes off inside and out in one piece. And then the snake crawls away in its new skin. Some lizards change their skin once a month. Now horses and giraffes sleep standing up, but bats sleep upside down. Fish sleep with their eyes open and so do snakes. Birds have special muscles that lock their claws to branches. That way they can sleep all night without ever falling off. Hippos sleep in a big heap and they use each other as pillows. Now there has been lots of fabulous information in this story that hardly anybody knows written by Rita Golden Gelman. And if you're a student of mine, check in this out in Flipgrid or your other virtual platform. One of the challenges I could give you is to tell me all about your favorite creature or the fact that you remember from this story. And if you forgot, that's okay. You can rewind the video and listen again. And if you're up for a challenge and feeling artistic, you could certainly draw me a picture as well. Stay well.